Hello again guys, uh, time now is 2 minutes to 5, 1700 hours on Sunday the 19th of June. Now, what I want to talk to you about, um, it's just popped into my head, is, well I say the three most dangerous positions or places or areas I've ever been in or whatever, whatever I've got caught up in, in but come to think of it there's quite a few more but the last three were the most powerful um, one was Hackney where I watched Touch of Frost and it was a paedophile who was playing Jack Frost, otherwise known as Del Boy. Um, I can't think of the actor's name now, but anyway, they were. He was the way I learnt it off him. I mean, obviously, I'm not. It doesn't make me one of them. Obviously, I'm. I'm happy to come my own back now, which I find a bit boring. I prefer being uh, being the maddest cunt on the planet and being accused of everything around the world just for the. Just to cause, well, not to cause mayhem, but to get a rush. I don't know what you call it, but that's just part of my personality. I, I don't know why. I, I think what it is is I don't care what people think. That's that's my uh, mo that's my uh, ethos. That's my motto. That's my belief. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, uh. I've lost energy now, I can't, I don't know if I can be asked saying it, um, no, I'll leave it for now, uh, I'll leave it for another day, uh, my energy keeps going down because of uh, the amount of, the amount of um, pressure I put it under, um, Walking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles across different parts of the UK since January and then going into the gym group and doing eight hour workouts in there and you know getting all hot and flustered and horny well not horny well yeah you could call it horny but you know kind of you know, like these gyms, particularly Newark and Burton a little bit and Leicester definitely. You know, it's just it's just filth central, it really is. It is the most amazing experience when you are sweating your bollocks off to such a degree that you're dripping. Um and you only need to imagine what's going on around you. So anyway, we moved on to a more interesting subject. Um, but yeah, there were the re I, I got off on this. Uh, what happened was that um, it was it was also when I was connected to this drug or spirit. I know I keep going on about it, but it did have a major bearing on, on me. And it was, I think it was. I think it was 2016 and uh, I was in a right mess, I'd walked, it was cold, it was uh, December or January, it was freezing cold and I was walking across the Kent countryside and this bloody chopper was, was overhead um, and I managed, I managed to arrive in Canterbury and we all know what Canterbury is like, don't we? Oh yeah, it's rather, rather, it's a bit, uh, a bit, uh, hmm, stiff up a lip. And it's not even stiff up a lip because that's the thing, that's my belief, you see, is that the likes of Michael Heseltine and David Davis and a few of these other, not only conservative, not only liberals, just, just people who are decent, wholesome, honest, 
you know, down to earth, not in it for themselves really, just trying to get by and live an ordinary life, a little bit like me really, you know, no, no strings attached, no dirty business, no trying to go behind people's backs, no trying to cheat on people, you know, just being honest, straight, up front, the way the world should be, but we all we all we all don't play by the same rules and that goes out to the asshole so called people who are meant to be protecting our homes and our livelihoods and our our uh, our way of life, that being the constabulary. Now the thing is with the constabulary is you know, I'm I'm going to compare forces here, because don't get me wrong, I to begin with I detested Shrewsbury, um, and I still, I still kind of I'm still a little bit puzzled about things that don't quite add up about that town. Now, I don't necessarily blame I definitely don't blame the newcomers. Um, and I don't really blame, I don't know who I blame, I mean, well, I do know who I blame, in fact, I mean, I know there's a lot of darkness in that town, and, uh, you know, I don't really need, I don't know whether I need to get to the bottom of it or not, I haven't quite decided, maybe one day I'll have to venture back in, and, you know, when you're in an area and you feel uncomfortable, um, that's, that's kind of what I mean, but there's more to it than that, it's a, it's a very powerful feeling you get, and it's, it kind of makes me feel, you know, I'm thinking, this don't feel right, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, so yeah, that's, that's that little bit of the story, um, I can't exactly remember how I got into this conversation now, but, um, yeah, anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, I can't remember what the link was between, because my head's a bit fuzz, fuzzled because of what went down in the hybrid unit, um, where they bombarded me consistently, particularly during the day, the nights weren't too bad. But, um, but during the day, anyway, so this is, this is what they call my illness, you see, is when I jump from one topic to the next topic to the next topic to the next topic, and people lose my trail of thought, and that, I suppose that can cause people to react badly to me, because they're thinking, uh, you know, they're like, but, so, I can't remember how we got into the Shrewsbury subject. I do remember what I was originally talking about, which was the fact that, oh, that was it, yeah, Canterbury, yeah, we did get, we, we did get back there, thank, 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 thank God, thank, thank for that. So, yeah, Canterbury, um, you know, I was quite poor back then, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't very worldly, do you know what I mean? I I, I was like my mum like my mum always used to said, like a fool, a a fowl or whatever you wanna call it, a baby horse that 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 can't fight that that struggles to, you know, kind of find their way, find their feet in life, do you understand? And uh you know, um that's where I've been up till recently and to be honest still am you know we're always learning no matter what age we are um and it would be nice to be able to live indefinitely and maybe by the time we get older they would have genetically modified us to such a degree that that may well be possible anyway getting back to what i was saying so what happened was that i uh I, well, this is a bit, this was a bit mad, but 
anyone that's been on that risperidone or knows about it knows that it can cause you to think any kind of fault. I mean, nothing dangerous, nothing like raping children or raping women or murdering people or, you know, all those saying that originally when I was actually on it, it did have that effect on me. As I've told you in another video, which is on YouTube, and I will be also uploading it to Inst well, I might just leave it on YouTube and let you lot on my Instagram and my Facebook accounts tune into you because it kind of worries me a bit that people will obviously look at me in a different light, but I'll be honest, I couldn't really give a fuck, which is a stupid thing to say because, you know, your reputation can lead you to problems, you know, like people don't really like talking about their skeletons. But in my case, I don't want to blow my own trumpet and I don't really want to. But the truth of the matter is, is that I was a vulnerable person. Admittedly, I had a, a criminal record, nothing that serious, you know, very minor little things that children and teenagers get up to, you know, like stealing sweets and, you know, things, things to that effect, nothing on the lines of anything major, which is why I've never done any serious jail time and why the mental health services have always taken me in and, uh, I would say looked after me, but you know, they are look at, they are, I mean, you know, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it, you know, with anything in life. Um, but, you know, I that that one drug, Risperidone, you know, it, it, I don't know if it's still on the market. I, I know that, I mean, I've mentioned it to a few doctors and they've, they've really, really, really panicked about it, so... It's obviously only used in extremely dire circumstances and uh, even then it, it shouldn't be used. It, it's, it's worse than, than a biological weapon it, it, and that's no understatement or, you know, that is genuinely how it is. Um, so... Uh, so yeah, um, so yeah, I, uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this so I can, so I can upload it. To, well, no, in fact, no, I'll leave it running. Um, it may upload to Instagram, it might not, I don't really, I'm not really bothered. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, what happened was that I was walking around, I don't know where I was, but I was looking for a pub to get a, just a little bite to eat, a pack of crisps or something. And I I took my shoes off, and this is what I mean about these mad thoughts, because I thought someone had poisoned them. Um, I don't want to say too much, but I'll, 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 I'll skip, I'll jump a few um, situations. And in fact, I'm so tired, I can't be asked. I'm going to stop it here. Um, I'll continue in a minute and there'll be a part two. All right then, bye.